I'm standing in Europort, one of the busiest ports in the world, near Rotterdam in the Netherlands. Uh, there are a lot of astonishing infrastructure projects near here. Uh, there's the Delta Works, the miles and miles of movable and closable flood barrier that stops all this land from being completely inundated every time there's a spring tide. But there's a lesser known one, and it's absolutely astonishing, because this canal here has a problem. Because while this canal might look huge by British standards, it's really not. If you're piloting an enormous, high-sided, flat-sided container ship, and you've got to get it through the lifting bit of that bridge, just there, that's a really difficult ask at the best of times. It's a really tricky turn just here. We've got to get into port as well. That's all really difficult, and it's made worse by the fact that we're in the Netherlands. It is very flat here, and it is very windy. So what do you do? Well, huh, see these things behind me? Yeah, they stopped the wind. This is the astonishing Rosenberg wind wall in the Netherlands. It is 25 meters high at its peak. It's enormous and it is a mile long and it stops the wind on this entire bit of canal. Not entirely, only about 75% of it, enough that it's the difference between hitting that bridge and going straight through it. This is an astonishing project, not just because of its, its sheer, almost unimaginable scale. I don't think I can get across on camera what it's like to stand underneath these things, but this is what you can do when you have millions of cargo containers, billions of euros going through a port. You can call up two architects, Struess and DeWitt, and you can say, we need to stop the wind. And we're humans, we'll stop the wind. This wind wall is a testament to what humans can do when we want to. And like a lot of the Delta works and everything around here, this is a triumph of humans over nature. And it is wonderful.